The ongoing Dunedin study, which has been following more than 1,000 New Zealanders born in the early 70s, found that teenagers who smoked cannabis by the age of 15 were four times as likely to have schizophrenia by age 26 than those who didn't smoke. I think it's fair to say that because the teenage and adolescent brain is so fragile and is still developing, that things that really change the neurochemical environment, like recreational drugs, are potentially very hazardous, especially at that age. And I'm not here as an anti-drug crusader, I'm a neuroscientist, but you want to let the biology take hold, you want natural, healthy learning and experience to take hold, and that chemical intervention is potentially very hazardous. They hold such great potential to harm the developing brain. Studies around the world indicate that mental illnesses like depression, anxiety, and bipolar disorders have risen significantly over the last 70 years. Although some studies blame social media for depression in teenagers, Ian Hickey says the evidence is not there. There are dangers in new social media. It is not the cause of the change. In fact, what young people did with social media, in fact, increases social connection between people. So we're humans, we relate to each other. Social media can increase connection. I'd work with kids with autism and kids who are withdrawn and kids who are transgender and these kids stay connected to others they would have never connected to. The facts are clear. Suicide rates were higher in the late 1990s before Facebook was invented. Across that time frame, there's been a larger change happening in society, which brings us back to the unusual phenomenon of shrinking families. If you look at post-World War II, a number of things have happened, drug and alcohol use being important. But the loss of connection between us as humans, the ways families have changed, the ways communities have changed, is a much bigger risk factor. Wired into our human DNA, is a need for connection that is perhaps as vital for our health and survival as water, food and shelter. The desire to communicate, to form a loving and secure relationship is apparent almost from the moment of birth. So adolescents who are lost, who are disconnected, who don't have big families, not parts of communities, who are alone, feel there's nowhere to go, that's a much bigger risk factor. And social media, like many things, we must monitor the risk, but we should also see the potential 